So in Minecraft, we only have ourselves a total of three mobs that we can tame. We have ourselves wolves. We have ourselves cats. Then we also have ourselves parrots. But you know what? That's about it. I mean, I kind of think that Minecraft definitely needs to have more pets in that department. And well, today we're going to be looking at this really cool add-on, which was created by Gabriel Castro. And this gives you some brand new mobs that you can tame inside your world. And this is called Domestic Pets. So as you can see, I went ahead and set up everything. And if you're wondering about why I put borders around here, it's because it's a really cool block. I mean, I like the particle effects. So that's the only reason why I use this. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and take a look at all these mobs right now. I mean, also down below in the description, you will find the link. So our first little mob that we're going to look at is going to be Aquarium Fish, also known as Goldfish. Yes, you can find, find Goldfish, you can find yourself Blackfish, which is supposed to be like the Black Goldfish, I guess you could say. And then of course you got yourself the normal standard orange one. And to be honest, I kind of think that Goldfish should have been an actual thing. And even Taming a Fish, that would have been a really cool thing for the update Aquatic. But anyway, you actually can go and tame them. And in order to tame them, you have to go and use seagrass. And whenever you do go and tame them, then what's going to happen is they're going to be able to survive on land for about 10 minutes. And of course, if they are not fed daily, then they are going to end up dying and it's only going to leave one bone. But also they spawn in the forest in Taiga Lakes, the parakeets. Now you can actually tame the parakeets by using sunflower seeds. And for sunflower seeds, it's crafted just like that with just four sunflowers. This is what they look like and they come in different colors as well. Just like the parrots. Well, they're basically parrots, but just a lot smaller. I kind of think that Minecraft needs to have more bird types. And when they are tamed, they will always follow you. And it doesn't have enough confidence to land on your shoulder. But however, it will land on trees when you find them along the way. So we're going to go ahead and tame a few of these guys. So there we go. You can also go make them sit. And there we go. We got ourselves all these parakeets just being tamed. And it's going to be absolutely glorious. But our next one is going to be the aquarium turtle. So we know that we have turtles in Minecraft already. And the sea turtles, you cannot tame them. You can find them, but you cannot tame them. But with these turtles, we actually can. And they're much, 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 much smaller and a lot cuter at that. I'm sorry, sea turtles, but you're just not that cute. But you can go and tame them by using fish bait. And in order to get fish bait, it's going to be rock cod. And that's how you get yourself the fish bait. So anyway, here's our turtle. And look how cute they are. Oh, we got ourselves one at a red eye. Okay, that's not a very good thing. I think that might be an evil turtle. I definitely do not trust them. They're all watching me. So anyway, here's all of our turtles. Pretty cool. But we're going to go and tame a few of them. So there we go. We're going to go and tame another one. Tame another one. Anything with red eyes? They are guaranteed to be pure evil. Alright, never trust red-eyed things. So, it says that you can find them in groups of 2 to 4 on the edges of lakes of forests in the taigas. The wonderful ferret. Now, ferrets, you can actually go ahead and feed them bread. But if you want to go and tame them, you actually cannot tame them yet within this add-on. Yeah, I know. It's very, very upsetting. We're supposed to be looking at mobs that we can tame. But I think that is a bug within this version. Because right now, it says that you can use mace. But well, I looked up mace and I could not figure out on how to get mace. So hopefully that will be fixed in the next update or so. For a relaxed meal, you can go ahead and feed them bread and they will breed puppies. And they will follow you. That guy's trying to run away from me. And they will sit somewhere. It doesn't say where they're going to sit. It just says somewhere. This is what the ferrets look like. They have some nice red noses. And they also are really, really fast. And also one of them did escape. The hamster. Everybody's favorite classic pet, the hamster. The hamsters are always really awesome to have around as well. Now you actually can go and tame them by using sunflowers. And also, they're just like the ferrets to where they're going to sit somewhere. And of course, they're going to follow you and stuff like that. So there's really no point in reading the book. But this is what they all look like. And they do come in different colors, different variants. And they look really, really adorable. I've always loved hamsters in real life. They're just a really cool thing. But to be honest... The hamster doesn't really look like a hamster in this add-on. It kind of looks like a mouse a little bit. An oversized mouse. So anyway, let's just go ahead and give him a sunflower. There we go. We tamed ourselves another one. And all the ferrets and all the hamsters, they're getting along quite well. They're all having a party. Oh my goodness, it's a ferret and hamster party, everybody. <laughs> Seriously, they're all really, really excited. I think they know what's coming up next. Because the next mob that we're going to look at is going to be the Billy or Rabbit. Now, the Billy Rabbit, 
It kind of sounds like a cartoon character's name, doesn't it? Billy or Rabbit. Now the Billy or Rabbits, they can be found in groups to two to five, and you can tame them by using carrots. So we're just going to go ahead and place down our beautiful rabbit, and they have some really long ears. Oh my goodness. But let's grab our carrots, and let's go ahead and follow them, and let's go and tame them. We can make them sit down, and they look really cool when they're sitting down. They're like laying down right there. So, you know what, buddy? I'm going to go leave you right there. Now, our next one is going to be our final set of mobs, and it's going to be dogs. That's right. We have ourselves German Shepherds, a dog sausage, and I assure you, it's not what you think. We also got ourselves a pug, we got poodles, we got beagles, cockers, we got boxers, and dalmatians. Everybody's favorite dog, a dalmatian. Now, if you want to go and tame them, you do actually need dog biscuits. And dog biscuits are crafted just like this. So let's go and grab these. Let's go and grab all of these different dogs. There are eight in total. And there will be more breeds later on in the future as Gabriel Castro did state. So we're just going to go ahead and read all about them. So it says that they can be tamed using dog biscuits, which can be used to increase the lost health of a dog. And your dog will protect you. They'll follow you and they will obey your orders like all dogs should in real life but he can also be irritated with you if he is attacked so yeah you do not want him to be mad at you you don't want him to be irritated or he might just bite you in the butt so not very good at all so anyway here we go we got ourselves our dog sausage and i told you it's not what you thought so it's just a little cute little puppy dog so we have ourselves the german shepherd and german shepherds they are well known for being police dogs or military dogs and they're a really cool dog that you can now have inside of minecraft and we're going to look at their next dog, which is going to be the Pug. Everybody's favorite little dog, the Pug. It doesn't really look like a Pug, to be honest. But you know what? It's a Pug. This is going to say it's a Pug. It can come in black, and they can also come in light brown. So we're going to move on to the next one, which is the Poodle. Yes, we have Poodles. And if you thought you could change the color of your Poodle, I'm sorry, but you actually cannot do that. And our next dog is going to be the Beagle. Now, the Beagle, we have Underdog here. Everybody loves Underdog, right? The dog that can fly. The dog that is basically Superman. So then we have our next dog, which is the Cocker Spaniel. And they have really long ears, and they're also very furry as well. But they look really, really awesome. So our next dog is going to be the Boxer, and this is what they look like. And then finally we have the Dalmatian, which is one of my favorite dogs. So we have ourselves our Dog Biscuit. So come on, how many do you want? You're a hungry dog. So there we go, we can make them sit. Let's go ahead and tame ourselves this dog, which I forget which dog was this again. This was the Boxer. So we now tamed ourselves the Boxer. And the cool thing about them is that they have like different sitting animations as well. So it's going to make them just a lot more cooler and stuff like that. But anyway, that's pretty much it for what this add-on that's introduced to us. And I really like the concept behind this of having more pets inside the game. And to be honest, I think that Minecraft needs to have more pets. Anyway, I do want to hear your thoughts down below in the comments on what you think of this. And if you enjoyed today's video... Then also let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload. For now, I hope you have a logical day and I will catch you next time. Bye!